Why does the world need universal connectivity? Because the bottom billion have been disenfranchised. They are not part of the global conversation, and they need to be part of the global conversation. And using these technologies, it will advance exponentially, reducing the cost and providing more access to whatever they want, to become whoever they want, and to increase their potential. So that's our goal. Give access to the internet to everyone on the planet so they can express their full potential. It's working. The idea of, of trying to connect all the people in the world I think is a great idea. Um, I would just start small. The Philippines is a country of more than 100 million people and it has actually surpassed India as the world's number one destination for outsourcing. Over 40% of their population is living on less than $2 a day and over two-thirds are unconnected and that means that they can't participate in this knowledge economy. So we went to the Philippines and networked a primary school. We couldn't have asked for a better team. The volunteers were amazing. They worked through the night on several nights setting up the lab, taking video, translating. It was really incredible. We caught them in the middle of a big storm where there was flooding in the area and the schools were all closed and we actually worked with them and they went directly to the principal's house. But Network in Cavite is just the beginning. We want universal internet access everywhere. What do you think about our project? Well, I think this is a beautiful idea whose time has come. I love your project. I think your project is absolutely needed. I think it's great to try and bring in connectivity to people who are just not getting support from other parties. I think the project is fabulous, and I think that this is a team that is dangerous enough to actually get the job done. Okay, if you can get Peter's abundance theory into the brains of six billion people because we're all connected, it's going to be a very different world. 